Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the fastest way to get yourself fired as a sonographer um, or any medical professional for that matter. But before we get started, kind of wanted to let y'all know a little something that kind of pertains to my last video from la uh, earlier this past week. Um, I know I said I'm going to try to stick true to recording two videos and then posting one on Monday and Wednesday. And let me tell you, I almost failed at that because this morning I had um, a meetup that I went to and it was like most of the morning up until like lunchtime. And then we had lunch with my husband. I met with him, my kids and I, and then we came home and uh, I've been kind of lazy. And then, so anyways, I forced myself to come upstairs and record a video. And just as I got up here, one of my best friends stopped by and she and I just sat and hung out and talked for a little while, but I'm here now. <laughs> I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to stick true to it. I'm going to stay on a schedule and we're going to have two videos every week. And hopefully I can make a good trend out of this. <laughs> so without further ado, let's hop on into this video. Okay. So the way that anybody can get fired, and I say anybody, I'm talking doctors, nurses, uh, accountants, sonographers, um, MAs, anybody who works in the medical field, and you, if you violate HIPAA, which HIPAA, H-I-P-A-A, -A, stands for Health, Portability, and Accountability Act. What that means is, basically like in layman's terms, patient privacy. So if you violate that, that is your fast, that is, that is a one way ticket out the door. And the bad thing about that is, is when you violate that, that sticks on your record. So it makes it a lot harder for you to find a job um, in the future. Um, especially, I know I've spoke to a few of you and I told you how small of a community sonography, sonographers are. Um, Yes, there are a lot of us, but our community is very small and like there's always someone who knows someone. So it's really, really hard to get a job if you violate HIPAA. So let's give you an idea um, as to what that can mean for you, like how, how you can violate it because there are several ways that you can violate it. So like in the hospital, when I was on the hospital side, and it goes the same for the clinic side as well, but <clears throat> any patient information must not be left out in the open. So like if there's a chart, like if you have a chart for a patient and then let's say you look through their chart and you're getting ready to go scan this patient, when you leave your desk, you must lock your computer because all your patient information's up there. And yes, anybody can turn a, a chart over and read it, but what they want us to do is turn your chart up face down so that nobody who's just walking by can read the patient's name or the chart and so on and so forth. So it is our responsibility as a healthcare professional and a sonographer to, to protect our patients, whether we are going to be, not whether we are, we are there to protect our patients health wise and their information wise. Um, what's that guy's name? Jesse Smollett. And I'm just going to use him as an example, uh, in the hospital where he went after the alleged beating, went down um a lot of people in the healthcare field got fired after that because they had went and looked up his information so like that's another way um you can get fired as a sonographer so if that patient is not your patient and that you do not need to know their information you do not need to look it up the crazy thing about it these days, and I say it's crazy because everything you do at work on your computers is all monitored. Somebody will ask you, why were you in this patient's chart? And if that wasn't your patient, you can get fired. So like at the hospital that I'm at, even like if the doctors tell us, Hey, can you, if like, for example, let's say I'm working on a patient's chart but I'm not with the patient and the doctor comes in and sees that I have like the chart open. Um, and he, and he or she is like, Hey, can you go into this patient's chart and let me see something real quick. HIPAA does not even want you doing that 
because that patient you have nothing to do with that patient it's the doctor's patient and if the doctor wants to look up that patient's information then they need to log in under their credentials and law and go look at that patient's information otherwise you are at risk for looking up that patient's information so when it comes to hipaa you have to take it very seriously because like i said there are multiple ways that you can violate hipaa and you may not even think you might think oh it's innocent um or how am i going to get fired for that but you can um, another example is if let's say you um you went and had an ultrasound done in your office or your hospital for yourself like let's say you went to the er because you were having epigastric pain and you had to have a limited right upper quadrant to roll out gallstones, for example, okay? And you get to work because you're feeling better and you want to go see what your images look like. And you pull up your chart and look at your images, you are violating HIPAA. I know, it sounds crazy. You're like, well, why am I violating HIPAA? It's my own patient, it's my own information. The reason that is, is because there are steps to take to see to get your information and to see your images and so on and so forth. And so if you really need your job, which most of, most of us do, and if you really like your job, which I can't say we all do, but I do, <laughs> you wouldn't wanna go looking up your information because that's a quick way to get fired. Same thing goes for your family. You don't want to look up your family's information. Anything that does not directly pertain to you and the patient care, and I've repeated this multiple times because I'm trying to like let you know that this can get you fired really quick. But if it does not pertain to you, step away from the chart. <laughs> so I hope that this was a little bit informative. I try not to go too deep into my explanation i try to make it as simple as possible but if you would like an elaboration on the hipaa act i would be more than happy to go into that <clears throat> but basically it's just privacy it's it's there to help protect your patients so um like i said if you want in-depth explanation i'd be happy to do that but i try not to make my videos boring and when you're talking about hipaa it can definitely make for a boring video but like I said, if it doesn't pertain to you, don't look it up because you can get fired. And with technology the way that it is, they can see everything that you look at on the computer. So like if you're not supposed to be looking at it, even if it's not, I'm just going to say it, even if it's not something um, that can get you in trouble with HIPAA, let's just say you're looking at things on the internet maybe you shouldn't be doing at work, you probably don't want to do that because they see everything and they know everything and they know exactly who's looking at it. And the reason I, they know that is because most clinics or hospitals that you work at give you your own login information and that is associated with whatever you put on the computer or whatever you look up and they record all of it. So like I said, <clears throat> I hope this was an informative video without getting boring. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave me a comment down in the video, in the, in the, comment section down below um, and also if you're new to my channel welcome <laughs> um, I have a lot of videos planned I have actually a really big list of things here uh, just trying to write them out in my head so I know what to talk about and I don't get on here and just ramble so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day thanks guys